Now to Save KC, our commitment to bringing you stories of solutions to crime in our communities. New at 10, one police department is reaching out to local teenagers to help change their perspective. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez explains how it's making a big difference. Also has some Kevlar here. Beyond this show and tell, one thing is an officer these officers are building a unique connection with these teenagers. Well, these officers are really cool. You just got to really get to know them. Elizabeth is one of 15 teens learning about KCPD to break down stereotypes. I thought it was going to be boring when I first heard of it. And yeah, when I started coming, the more days I came, the more I started to get attracted to it and it was fun. This is the Youth Police Initiative, where the talk is real. Because the unfortunate part is that the only experience I've had with law enforcement is watching us arrest aunties or dads or moms or cousins. So the relationship with us hasn't been a positive. So a lot of them are very hesitant. They're very standoffish. But over the week long program, these teens and officers share with each other their experiences yeah, like yeah. to find out they're not so different after all. I mean, to, to see that sort of transformation take place in such a short amount of time, uh, there's no place that we can't get to. The initiative, also known as YPI, has had success in other cities. All the more reason KCPD Chief Rick Smith gave it a shot. It's all about building that relationship, having that structured environment, safe environment for the kids to talk to the cops the way and ask the questions they've always wanted to ask. This is the fourth group for this initiative, and for the time being, it's the last one until they can secure additional funding. A grant covered this pilot program. The department hopes that the community can donate to the boys and girls club to keep this initiative alive because we got to try things you know when things aren't working when we become the fifth most violent city we have to try things in kansas city andres gutierrez 41 action news